the Mercedes AMG C63, an icon, that blistering four litre twin turbo V8 engine. Hey, it's not a V8. It's not a V8. It's a four cylinder. A four cylinder? Plug in hybrid. Plug in hybrid? Hmm. Let's try that again. The Mercedes AMG C63 SE Performance a four-cylinder plug-in hybrid, and it's actually faster than the V8 that it replaces. It's also more expensive. Mercedes-AMG has said that this is the opening of a new chapter for the history of the brand, and that this is a game changer. Now, we can't go for a drive today, but we're gonna tell you everything that you need to know, take you through this car, and then you can let us know in the comments. Game changer. So, the end of an era. This is the first non-V8 version of the C63 in two decades and the first with four-cylinder plug-in hybrid electric power. Formula 1 genes are spread throughout the battery pack, designed in conjunction with the Mercedes-AMG F1 team's engine builders. There's not a great deal of driving range though as the battery is slanted towards performance, not efficiency. Some fast facts for you. It's around $20,000 more expensive than its predecessor. Starts around $190,000 plus on road costs. It also boasts some mild hybrid Formula One technology, has a two litre turbocharged four cylinder petrol engine, an electric motor, and a 6.1 kilowatt hour battery pack. That'll give you around 15 kilometers of driving range. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot. Here's something to sweeten the deal though. Combined, 500 kilowatts of power and 1,020 newton meters of torque. This is actually the most powerful four cylinder in the world. Top speed of 280 kilometers per hour and a zero to 100 kilometer sprint time claimed of 3.4 seconds. Developed with the Mercedes AMG F1 team in the UK, the battery pack has been designed for rapid charging and quotes double the energy density of a traditional plug-in hybrid car's lithium-ion battery. It can supply 70 kilowatts in normal driving or up to 150 kilowatts during short periods of boost and quotes a capacity of 6.1 kilowatt hours for just 13 kilometres of electric driving range, according to European WLTP testing. The battery can be charged from a 3.7 kilowatt AC home wall box and each of its 560 cells are individually liquid cooled so that they don't overheat during fast driving. And yes, its regenerative braking system can support one pedal driving and the all wheel drive system can send electric power to the front wheels or disengage drive to the front axle entirely in drift mode. It houses an electric motor between the two wheels of the turbocharger, allowing the turbo to be spun up at low speeds when there aren't enough exhaust gases to do so on their own. Mercedes-AMG says placing the electric motor on the rear axle allows it to act faster, improve the car's weight distribution and minimise the need for intervention from the stability control system if one rear wheel loses traction. There are also four modes for regenerative braking from cruising on one pedal mode, as well as a system that plays a typical AMG sound from the engine through speakers inside and outside the car. Adaptive suspension is standard, as is rear wheel steering. There's also the limited slip rear differential, a multi-mode stability control system, 19-inch or 20-inch alloy wheels, performance tires, and six-piston front and single-piston rear composite brakes. As standard, you get your AMG styling, which includes unique bumpers, skirts, and badges. Speaking of badges, Instead of the three-pointed star with laurel wreath here, you now get this black AMG badge instead. A really nice touch, of course, you have your three-pointed star here and your AMG grille with vertical struts. Matrix LED headlights. This is finished in high-tech silver. And this car here actually also has the carbon fiber package. So you'll see some unique carbon fiber elements on the exterior and on the interior. I'm in the cabin and it's a Mercedes cabin that we all know and love. Premium, sporty, just sexy. Now this, as I mentioned, has the carbon fiber package. So that also gives you some really beautiful carbon fiber elements on the interior. And that includes all along the dash here. 
You also get the performance package in this specific car. So that adds these AMG performance bucket seats, which have been completely redesigned. They've now got these slits in the side to allow for weight saving and ventilation. You've also got that really beautiful AMG emblem up here in the headrests as well, which we saw on the front of the car earlier. Beautiful yellow stitching in here, black leather, and with the performance pack, you also get this AMG steering wheel, which again, carbon fiber, Alcantara, looks beautiful. In the way of standard features, you get your panoramic glassed roof, a head-up display, ambient lighting, and a Burmeister 3D surround system. Then of course, you've got their big MBUX infotainment system, which if you haven't used it before, you really can't fault this system. It's really easy to use, high resolution, easy to navigate on the move as well. You get a 360 degree camera, which also works really well. And this car is all about performance, right? So you also get some AMG specific displays in your head up display and here in your instrument cluster. Uh, I will show you through this so you get super sport track displays. And that means that you can just change around whether you want your maps in one area, whether you want your driver assistance on another side, it gives you that real freedom of choice and you get a long list of drive modes as well to flick through, which you can do on the steering wheel, or you can just click the AMG button and you get race mode, sport plus, sport, comfort, electric, battery, individual mode. So yeah, plenty to choose from and it gives you some really cool graphics as you flick through all the different modes as well. There's a really well thought out layout in here as well. There's just lots of space underneath these door handles. As usual, you've got your seating here on the door. These are electric seats as standard and they also have heating for the front row. And then you've got plenty of storage here too. So you can push this open like this. <laughs> it's really easy. Um, two cup holders in here, extra storage and wireless charge pad uh, charging as well, USB port and plenty of room in here too. Lots of charging capabilities throughout this car actually. And it just feels really comfortable, very premium and very sporty sitting in the front here. And just for fun, hey Mercedes. Hey Mercedes. <laughs> How can I help? What's my current consumption? Your average consumption since the start of the journey is 0 litres per 100 kilometres and since the last reset, 9.6 litres per 100 kilometres. Oh, wow, I wonder who drove this last. <laughs> I say that because it has a claimed fuel consumption of 6.1 litres per 100 kilometres and a fuel capacity of 60 litres. Welcome to the back seats and they are very comfortable. That there is my driving position. Leg room is ample as is headroom. Then it's of course it's really bright and airy thanks to that panoramic sunroof that extends all the way to the rear as well. You've got your vents here. Now you don't have your charging capabilities back here but I did spot two chargers in that center compartment which the back seat passengers can access. And you get your fold down armrest. You also have that floating door handle in the rear here as well. And those beautiful Burmeister speakers continue to the rear. Have a look at that cool ambient lighting. It's on a monochrome setting at the moment. All in all, it is a very nice, comfortable, plush place to be. This C63's boot space is much smaller than its predecessor due to the battery pack and hybrid hardware under the boot floor. Its cargo capacity of 315 litres compares to 435 litres from the previous C63 and 455 litres for the regular C-Class range. So the end of an era for the C63 and the opening of a new chapter. Are you happy with this chapter? Is it a game changer? What do you think of the price? As always, let us know in the comments below. It's available to order and in showrooms, of course, if you wanna see our very first drive and a full review, head on over to drive.com.au. Be sure to subscribe so you get to see more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.